probably from the day I was born, my love of horses began. Not that I can remember that far back, but there isn't a defining moment in time where I remember it starting, it just was always there. I used to be envious when my sister would get to go and do riding lessons and she's older than me, so I used to sort of think, well, why can't I do that? <laughs> I feel stupid saying I have a special connection with horses, but I guess you do, you know, you develop a really strong bond with your horses. I'm the first face they see in the morning and the last face they see at night. They kind of become your best friend. Like Ollie would be my soulmate. I say that to people all the time, which sounds ridiculous, but as much as I've loved all of my other horses, there's something about him where I feel like he goes above and beyond for me all the time. Sometimes it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Entering fashions on the field as a 10 year old, it's been sponsored by Maya since way back when. It was really exciting. I remember seeing it on TV and thinking, oh, I've got to be a part of that. I don't really know what inspires a 10 year old to do that, but whatever it was, it got me. So I dragged mum out to the shops and she took me to Maya actually, and we bought a really cute little shift dress and cardigan and it's very age appropriate. <laughs> besides the Best Bets book in my bag. Sort of managed to get my face in front of the judges and got third that year and it was thrilling. Like I can't tell you how exciting it is as a 10 year old to place at my fashions on the field. I won a TV that year and I remember thinking it was the biggest deal to win a TV. I was lucky enough, my parents let me put it in my room and I thought it was just like it in a bit. 